I'm Anil Kumar. We are discussing measurements and here is a very interesting question on relating area and perimeter. The question is, why is it possible to create a rectangle with greater perimeter but same area? Well, let's take up a case. What I will begin with is that we will sketch a rectangle whose length and width are same. So I have taken up this scale, so we will do 4 centimeters, let's say this is 4 centimeters, right? So we will make a square of length and width equals to 4 centimeters. So we have this 4 by 4, correct? So 4 by 4. So let me just draw these parallel sides with length of 4 centimeters. So 1 to 5 is 4, right? And let's join them. So if I have each side as 4 centimeters, what is the area? Well, area has to be 16. So we have 4 centimeter by 4 centimeter. So in this case, area is equals to 4 centimeter times 4 centimeter, which is 16 centimeter square, right? So that is the area. Now, what is the perimeter? Well, the perimeter is sum of all the sides and it should be 4 times 4 and we have perimeter of 4 plus 4 and these sides are also 4 and 4, right? So, we will say plus 4 plus 4 and that is also 16, in this case centimeters is the unit. So, we get perimeter of 16. Now, let us divide this square into two parts. So if I let us say divide it into two parts so that each has a width of two centimeters. You get it. So what I'm trying to do here is that I'm going to divide it like this. So what we have here is this square divided into two parts. And if I place the top part on the side of the bottom part, what happens? Area remains same, right? So what I'll do here is that I'll remove this and place it on the side. That is to say, I will now make a rectangle which will have length of 8 centimeters, right? How? 4 centimeters is this particular side, right? And then the next 4 centimeter I'm bringing this down, right? So, so let me bring this red portion down. So it becomes 8 centimeters. Do you see that? So that becomes my side now. And the width of this square remains as 2 centimeters. So what we did was we divided it into two equal parts, right? So when I divided it into two equal parts and placed the top half of the square on the sides of the bottom part, I get a big rectangle. Do you see that? So that is my big rectangle. And in this rectangle, my height or width is 2 centimeters. And the length from here to here is 8 centimeters. Right? Because we have 4 from here and 4 from this side. So 4 plus 4 centimeters is 8 centimeters. In this case, what is the area? Area is 8 times 2. Still the same, right? So it is 8 centimeter times 2 centimeter, which is indeed 16 centimeters square. But what happens to perimeter? Now since these two sides are equal and these sides are equal, we have 8 centimeter plus 2 centimeter and this is also 8 right 8 centimeter and 2 centimeter correct so we have plus or we could multiply by 2 right so 8 centimeter plus 2 centimeter what do we get 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 10 is 20 so we get 20 centimeters do you see perimeter has increased from 16 to 20 now if we follow this pattern further, that is to say, if I further divide it and place on the side, you will find that area remains same. We are using the same portion, right? 
but if we make it thinner and thinner perimeter is increasing correct so you notice here that perimeter is minimum for the square but as we reduce one of the side and make it more like a rectangle flat rectangle the perimeter increases so this is what you take from this video and I hope you appreciate how for the same area we can have more and more perimeter I hope that helps thank you and all the best